my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? Or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is worth nothing. But it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. You do not know him, but I know him. And if I should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham, your father, rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, when I was uh, preparing this homily today, the first reading brings me back uh, to Tanzania when sometimes when we had a conversation with the Muslims, we all agree that we are sons and daughters of Abraham. So when you put that, uh, we agree. And uh, we walk along, but there is somewhere where we go different. But all in all, we come to recognize that God is so faithful for the promise he made with Abraham. He continues to remind us that he's so faithful to all of us to keep what he promised to Abraham and what it happened to Jesus Christ. I like the gospel today, which is Jesus is telling us, if you believe in my word, you'll never die. What is the word of Jesus? That's the good news. Once we believe the good news and we put it into action and walk through with it, it will lead us to life. And where I am, I will also be with you. So the words of Jesus is so powerful to all of us. And to remember that he promised us something which is so important in our journey of life. Do we believe that? That's the challenge for all of us. Imagine the relationship between Jesus and the Pharisees and the scribes has reached at a boiling point. They are now ready to kill him. But he says, the hour has not come yet. And when the hour has come, he was ready to die for the sake of all of us that love at a price. We're now approaching to celebrate Palm Sunday. Remember the day when those people were eh, singing, Hosanna, Hosanna, and at the end, crucify him. People can change with their moods. And that mood also can lead them to do differently. We are called here to recognize Jesus is our source of life. Jesus' words always can heal us. And Jesus' words can bring us together. And let us pray for unity. Let us pray for peace. Let us pray for our faith that we are all sons and daughters of God. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, you have showed us the way how you have come to bring us life.
Give us courage so that we can recognize you and even listen to what you are telling us. And for this, we pray. For us to live the covenant we have with our Savior through the grace of our baptism, we pray to the Lord. For the power of God's word to guide our lives and strengthen us to be witnesses of his truth, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are suffering in any way to seek the compassion and healing of our loving God, we pray to the Lord. For our YOA youth and volunteers to continue to build their faith foundation through learning and growing in their knowledge of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. For Pope Francis, bishops, priests, seminarians, religious, and lay leaders to work together to share the love of Christ, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our brothers and, and sisters who have died in a very special way for Mary McPhail, who today we celebrate one year anniversary, and for this we pray. For us to have hearts of gratitude for all the graces God gives to us each day, we pray to the Lord. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we are claim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, 
and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is of the church of our blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that if a taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Peter Peregrino and Mary McPhail, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, O peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. peace, be with you, peace brother.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. blood of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ.
God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. With him he has given us all things. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online also, thank you for your prayers and for your participation. The word of Jesus gives us life. And the word of God, of Jesus also, gives us uh, eternal life. Let us continue to listen to his word, which always transforms our lives and gives us courage to walk through. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Please join in singing the second verse of number 562 all the ends of the earth. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. Heaven and earth shall rejoice in his might, Every heart, every nation, call him Lord. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world.